welcome back to my channel in this tutorial i will show you how to set up and use virtual box and also show you how to install and run ubuntu which is one of the most popular of linux distributions virtual box is a powerful type 2 hypervisor virtualization software or virtual machine which can run operating system as a guest on another operating system software. So let's download VirtualBox. I am going to download VirtualBox for Windows operating system. Click here to download. I already have downloaded it on my machine. Now I am going to install VirtualBox on Windows 11. Navigate to download folder and open VirtualBox installer. Now VirtualBox wizard is ready to begin the custom installation click on install button it may take some times that's it virtual box installation is complete click the finish button to exit the setup wizard now we have VirtualBox running. Next, we need to get an ISO for the guest operating system that we want to run on virtual machine. Let's download the ISO for Ubuntu. Browse this URL and then on the navigation bar, click on download and then click on get Ubuntu desktop. download ubuntu desktop you can download ubuntu 22.04 lts this is the system requirements i am going to download ubuntu 23.04 click here to download i already have downloaded it on my machine before installing virtual box you need to make sure that virtualization is turned on on your computer in windows pc open task manager then click on performance tab and then click on cpu in the right down you can see virtualization make sure whether it is enabled or disabled my case it is enabled if virtualization is disabled in your pc go to your bias and enable virtualization from windows operating system turn on these windows features virtual machine platform Windows Hypervisor platform and also enable Hyper-V, Hyper-V management tool, Hyper-V platform. You will find a link in video description how to enable virtualization in the BIOS. Now I am going to create a new virtual machine. So open Oracle VM virtual box manager. To create a new virtual machine, click on new. Enter the virtual machine name and operating system. I am going to name it Ubuntu 23.04 and then select ISO image. Browse Ubuntu iso image skip unattended installation 
now click on next you can modify virtual machines hardware by changing amount of ram and virtual cpu count so follow the minimum system requirement for ubuntu 23.04 so I am going to increase the size of base memory 4 GB RAM and then and then I am going to increase the number of CPU ok now click on next if you wish you can add a virtual hard disk to the new virtual machine you can either create a new hard disk file or select an existing one alternatively you can create a virtual machine without a virtual hard disk i am going to create a virtual hard disk now this is the minimum system requirement you can increase this size click on next now click on finish select the virtual machine and then open settings select system and then enable this extended feature and also select display and then enable 3d acceleration feature and maximize the video memory and then select shared folders i'm going to add a new shared folder now browse the path for shared folder i am going to create a new folder now select this folder check this box then click on ok now select user interface and then in the visual state drop down list select the normal option and then check this box show at top of screen all of this menu item and then click on ok now i am going to install ubuntu 23.04 on virtual machine start the installation i am going to enable scaled mode so that I can enable the full screen ok now select the first option try or install Ubuntu and hit enter from the welcome screen choose your language then click on next now select the first option install ubuntu and then click on next now select keyboard layout click on next connecting this computer to the internet will help ubuntu install any extra software needed and help choose your time zone so you can connect by ethernet cable or choose a wi-fi network I don't want to connect to the internet just now. Now choose the installation type normal installation or minimal installation. In the normal installation, web browser utilities, office software, games, and media players will be installed automatically during installation. But in minimal installation, web browser and the basic utilities will be installed only check this box i am going to install the normal installation type select the first option erase disk and install ubuntu now click on next finally click on install button now select your time zone click on next now enter your name 
and then enter your computer's name and also pick a username choose a password for your account enter the same password again to confirm your password click on next now choose your theme I am going to select the light theme click on next it may take some time for installing the system on your virtual machine That's it. Ubuntu 23.04 is installed and ready to use. You can continue testing Ubuntu now, but until you restart the computer, any changes you make or documents you save will not be preserved. So click on restart now button to restart the system. Now click on the user account and then enter the password for your user account. Hit enter. Now open settings and select user interface and select the normal option in visual state click on ok now click on devices and then click on insert guest additions cd image now click on run now enter the password for your user account this will install the guest addition so that you can share the folder and files between the guest and host machine my case ubuntu is the guest machine and windows 11 is host machine Now open file explorer and here you will see this is the shared folder. So now you are able to share the file and folder between Ubuntu and Windows. Now I am going to create a new file into shared folder into my host windows operating system and go back to guest operating system and then open file explorer and then navigate to this shared folder
here you will see the newly created new folder okay and also I am going to create a new file into this shared folder here you will see the newly created text document file that's it now I will show how to adjust view in virtual box initially the screen is very small but you can resize this screen click on view adjust window size and then go to the bottom of this tab here you will see virtual screen resize the virtual screen that you want and also you can enable full screen mode or scale mode or you can select auto resize guest display Okay, this is the virtual machine menu. Here you will see a different type of option. Using this option, you can take a snapshot from your current virtual machine. And this is the file manager. Using this pause button, you can pause your running machine and pause also you can reset your virtual machine configuration using this button you can shut down your virtual machine using this option SCPI shutdown and here you will see devices using this menu you can enable shared folder option to shared data between guest and host operating system also you can insert guest addition CD image you can close your virtual machine You can create multiple virtual machine on your virtual box manager. Click on new and then fill all of these fields and then install your ISO image. Now I am going to show you how to remove your virtual machine. Right click on virtual machine and then select remove if you like to delete the files containing the virtual machine from your hard disk as well select delete all files or if you want to delete only the virtual machine select remove only i think you are able to install virtual box on your pc and running an operating system on VirtualBox Manager. If you learn something from this video, consider subscribing and like, comment, share. Thank you so much for watching this video.